Hi you guys, real quick, um, I just tried to edit the video that I made when I finished my hair. Uh, today is Thursday and I, when did I finish my hair? Saturday, or this past Saturday or Sunday. I still need to finish that part. I just realized that um, the video, it didn't record properly. So, I'm going to show you guys my hair. It's basically crochet braids with 100% uh, cankalon hair that I got from Beauty Supply Store. I used three bags. The reason why I used three bags is because my hair, I have a TWA, but my TWA is long enough for me to braid, so I cut one of the bags in half and I did, uh, I braided my hair going straight back. Um, I used half of a bag for that and then the other half is where I started the back of my hair. Now, I will say that this hair, um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on it because it does give you like that natural, that natural look, natural texture. Um, you can even, right now it hasn't been blow dry. Maybe I'll take some photos of it blow dried. You can blow dry it on high heat, but be really, really careful because it's synthetic hair. Synthetic hair will burn. You can blow dry it and the hair will get a little bit straighter than what you see it now. But I like big hair, so I'm not going to straighten mine. I just need to add a few more pieces. I ran out of hair, so I have to go and get some more. But I'm going to fill that portion of it in. Um, this hair is really hot, so if you're hot natured, I wouldn't advise you getting this. But there's a lot you can do. You can do two strand twists. You can, do, you can braid it. You can do some updos. All kinds of stuff. So I wanted you guys to see it. I like it. Um, if shedding is a pet peeve of yours, don't do it. Um, because this hair does shed, but I mean it's cankalon hair, so I expected that much for it to shed. Um, it doesn't bother bother me at all, but if it bothers you, I would say don't do this hair because it will shed. You can brush through it, that sort of thing. It doesn't get tangled. Um, at night, I put it in jumbo twist to keep it from getting tangled. And then I sleep with my bonnet on my hair just like I would if this were my actual hair. So, you don't need, you probably need about a bag and a half. Two bags at the most. I wouldn't go over that because this hair is thick. I mean, it is super, I don't know, if, it's like super thick. So, maybe a bag and a half, two bags at the most is all you need. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think. It's just a protective style, just because I don't feel like rocking my TWA. Um, you can kind of see there that these are crochet. If you have enough for leave out, of course, you can part your hair um, down the middle, do some leave out if you don't want people to know. I don't really care that they know that these are braids. Um, I'm a natural. I wear protective styles. But, for example, if you had enough for a leave out, then you could, you know, put your hair over that portion of it. But, it doesn't bother me much. So, but as you can see, you can uh, roll this with rods, dip it in hot water, maybe get some curls going. I'm not sure what I plan to do with it. I change my hair quite often so we'll see um, but yeah let me let me know what you think I like it very simple cost me like five dollars um, took me two or three hours total to like complete my hair so not long at all cheap hairdo um, but again it's really hot it does shed um, you can wear it up in a bun or a ponytail if you want. Uh, I would advise braiding smaller braids so that if you want to, you know, flip them back and forth, you can. Um, so your shades are like in my mouth. Gross. But let me know what you think. Okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Um, basically, I, uh, you can blow dry this hair 
as I said in the other video and um, you can blow dry it on high heat um, I suggest taking smaller sections about like that and I'm actually using um, a paddle brush sorry about the hair that's in it but you can use a roller brush which may be easier for some but I can't find my roller brush so I'm using the paddle brush so basically what it does and I tried to come in the bathroom so you, you could see the difference but this side has been blow dried and this side has not so as you can see it gives it a little shine on one side it's softer versus this side has just been I've worn it like in a bun and um, not really I haven't really done a whole lot to it but this is what this side looks like without it being blow dried whereas this side is actually blow dried um, this hair tends to expand just a little bit over a course of a couple of days so every couple of days if you want you can go back through and just kind of blow dry it. I'll probably trim the edge, uh, edges. Yeah, Blah. I'll probably trim the edges, the ends of the hair, um, so that because um, this hair does shed. So just to kind of make it look a little bit neater at the ends. So just wanted to quickly show you that yes, you can blow dry cake on hair. It's synthetic. Don't hold the blow dryer on there for too long because the hair will burn. But just enough to straighten it. So as you can see again, this side has been blow dried and this side has not. This is what the original texture tends to look like when you first put it in. This is after it has been blow dried. So I'm hanging on in there. I've only had it in for a week. so. I uh, change my hair like once a week so I'll probably leave it in for another week um, just because I love it I like it um, I may try a lighter color this is a 1B I think this is a 1B um, so yeah I may go lighter possibly um, but yeah tell me what you think see you guys soon bye